Hello, this is Zipper Designs for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a trace path animation in Adobe After Effects. So, what we're going to be starting with is creating a drawn path using the pen tool. We're going to be using the trace paths command for this technique, which is found in the Create Nulls from Paths panel. That'll let us parent this truck to the created null and have it move along the path. After that, it's just adjusting the look of the path itself, and we'll be done. So, here's what the project looks like when it's done. So this is what the finished animation is going to look like. So you can see the truck drives along, it stops at different states, and uh, yeah, it goes along this kind of squiggly path that we've laid out for it. So yeah, this is a fun technique for animating objects along paths that are more organic and complex in nature. Rather than having to keyframe every little bend and stop and curve along the way, this does with far less hassle and time. It's really mostly done with a push of the button, parenting an object, and some path adjusting. We'll be relying on this map file here, and this truck vector, as well as this light paper texture over everything. Our main focus is getting the truck to move and animate the line behind it. So you can find this project file with those assets included in the video description below. So let's get started. So we're going to go up to here to Layer, New, Shape Layer. One moment. Here we go. And using my pen tool over here, we're going to draw the line that goes from New York to Texas, let's do the middle of Texas, like Austin about, to Wyoming, to California. There we go. And let's change the settings on this. I want it to be 8 pixels wide in the stroke. And I want the color to be white. So, we can adjust this as needed. So, um, I'm okay with how mine looks. I might really adjust like this area, see the anchor point. Start out a little more straight over here, move to the side, that kind of thing. But uh, I'll really only know how I want to adjust it later on. So now, the main thing is, let's go up to Window, and all the way down here is Create Nulls from Paths. This is Adobe After Effects side of the 2021 version currently active. And with that, I am going to, actually, let's make this a little bit wider. I'm going to hit, with this layer selected, Trace Path. Sorry about that. So I'm actually going to have to have the path selected. Contents, Shape 1, Path. That's how I gotta do it. Trace path. Yeah, it only really works if you've got all that selected. So I'm glad that I showed you that, uh, since that's common error and you can see I myself am doing it. Now, check this out as I scrub through the timeline. You can see that that null actually follows along this white path, which is pretty crazy. So what we're gonna be doing next is let's uh, center this truck layer right on top of the null. Let's actually move the up here, truck all the way over there. Thank you very much. So now let's take this truck and um, let's center this truck. So with the playhead at the origin and let's have this truck kind of like centered right on the null and let's pick whip it to this purple layer, the new trace paths layer. See, that null is from this uh, this layer that was created when we hit trace paths. Okay. So this truck is supposed to follow the null, which follows the path. So let's scrub through. All right, looks like it's driving along. But yeah, that's how, that's how it goes. I might actually want to rotate my truck just a bit. Right at the start. R for rotate. I think I want to get it rotating just a little bit so it aligns with the path a little bit more. What I want to show you with that is, um, so I'm going to name this one the, the path. It, by the way, if I were to anim like um, edit this path, let's see with like my convert vector tool, like that actually changes the path that the truck goes on. So check it out as I scrub through my timeline. So with my playhead at the origin, check this out as I scrub through the timeline, the truck goes up that peak, right? So if you want to edit the path that the truck goes, you just edit the, uh, you know, the path itself. 
All right, now that that's back to normal, so let's actually animate this thing. So what really we're going to be animating is a trace path because the truck is um, parented to that. So we're going to hit U to see all my keyframes. I'm actually going to stretch this out. Um, you know, this, uh, this moves quite quickly. So I'm going to extend that last keyframe all the way out there. And let's see. So I want my truck to stop for about, let's say, 15 frames in. Uh, 15, 16, I'm going to copy this keyframe, paste it over here, and that'll give it a hold for about 15 frames in. Then I'm going to go over to Texas, and let's actually move a little more, a little more. Come on, come on, get over there. Get over to Austin. Okay. And I'm going to hit a keyframe here on this progress. Uh, keyframe, you know, the progress keyframes to hold it there. Also, maybe, you know, about the same distance as the as, uh, first hold, I'm going to copy this keyframe, the first my first Texas keyframe, paste it over here. That'll give it another hold. Um, and then finally, let's head over to Wyoming a little bit further, a little bit further over here. And actually, let's pull it back just a little bit um, because it, it looks a little bit weird when it's cresting over there. So I'm going to hit keyframe and you got it. We are going to move this right over here. Another 15 uh, frames just about. Actually, let's squish that right over there. And uh, yeah, that should be about it. So if we were to preview this, you know, it would head on over to, uh, you know, it would stay, stand in New York, and then it would head on over to Austin, hold there for a bit, and then head right over to Wyoming, hold there a bit. I apologize, my um, device is acting up a bit, so it's not really agreeing to give me a preview. All right. I, by the way, I actually edited some of the keyframes, so you can move around the keyframes, the progress keyframes, to adjust the flow and the speed of your truck. So uh, if we preview it, you can see that the truck stops and starts a little bit in uh, each of the states that it visits. And if I were to manipulate you know, these keyframes, these progress keyframes, you know, um, that would slow and start the truck as well. So that's another way to also alter the uh, speed of your animation, you know, just by moving this around. All right. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to get this path to animate as it kind of extends out beyond the truck as it goes along. So open up contents on your path, go to add, go to trim paths. That's going to give us this little animator down here, toggle it open. And we've got this thing called start and end, and that just refers to when the uh, line starts and ends, as you can see. We're really going to be just animating this, uh, this end option over here. So to start with, let's get, <laughs> let's make the end all the way back to zero. We've got our end, and we're going to be animating it. We're going to hit U to consolidate that. Um, we're going to be animating it um, similarly to this progress bar as well. So we're going to copy our initial value. We're going to paste it over here, just about to match up with uh, that one. You know, move over to, uh, you know, over here. So the, you know, the truck go drives out a little bit. We're going to you know, increase the value of our end over here so it falls right behind the truck. Again, copy, you know, move over to the end of the truck stay in Austin, Austin, Texas. Copy, paste for that value. Head over to Wyoming. Uh, again, move the value of the end, you know, trail to end right behind the truck. Come on, come on, a little more, a little more, a little more. No, no, too far back. Okay, and now that we've set those keyframes for the path, let's toggle open path. Let's go to contents, toggle open shape. We're going to be making a uh, dashed line for this kind of thing. So let's head over to uh, contents, shape one, stroke. We're going to change the line cap to a round cap, rounds off the edges, and open up dashes.
Let's add dashes with that. Here, that's a plus. Dash should be dash should be set to ten, and we hit the plus again, and the gaps should be sent to twenty. All right, there you go. So this technique can be used pretty much with any kind of object. You can even parent effects to this. For that, you need some effect with a position property within x and y. You can write a linking expression to that effect, or just pick whip it to the null like we did with this truck, and there you go. Try this technique with text layers, even pieces of footage. The path itself can have effects applied to it as well, so don't stop there. Maybe try animating a sky running airplane following a path, a butterfly, text going from one screen to another, vehicles driving around a race course, and anything else you can think of. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make a trace path animation in Adobe After Effects. This has been Sir Power Zions for Noble Desktop.